We are now ready for step three. In steps one and two, we analyzed and determined that the demand for minivans decreases, thus it shifts left. The supply for minivans increases, and thus it shifts right. We're going to show these shifts in a diagram that looks like this. Make sure you label your axis. The vertical axis is the price and the horizontal axis is the quantity. Label your original supply as S0 and original demand as D0. Next, make sure that you have labeled the equilibrium point, which is the intersection of supply and demand, as E0. For now, it is not important what these coordinates are, such as the numbers for the equilibrium quantity, EQ0, or equilibrium price, EQP0. The most important thing is that you have identified the equilibrium points for the price and quantity. 